Good morning, everybody. This is Kim Danke. Happy Monday morning to you. We are starting a brand new week in the game of life. We have 94 days left in the 2020 edition of the game of life. And here I am coming to you from the Shibola Studios in Kennesaw, Georgia. Hopefully when you hop on here, you will tell me who you are, where you're from, and what type of Shibboleth day you are having. Also, if you have had some weight loss success, please share that with us. We love encouraging each other in that area and so many others. I do hope that I am able to see your comments today. I don't know uh, what I, why I could not see them on Friday, but I could go back and read them. They were there, but I couldn't see them during the live. So, and it doesn't look like I can see them during the live again today, but I can tell that Charlene and Tammy and Cheryl, Sandra, Lynn, Kim, who I met this weekend, Pamela, Ron, Charlene, Deanda, Carolyn are all watching. Hello. Okay. I'm getting a comment. Charlene from Michigan. Hello. Hey, Polly. Hey, Pamela from Alpharetta. Hey, Rhonda. Okay, good. Comments are coming through. Because I actually didn't like that on Friday when I couldn't see your comments. So I'm glad they're coming through. Hey, Michelle, 94 days left in 2020, and she's having an intermittent fasting day. Good morning, Ron, having a perfect day. Good morning, Polly. Thank you for sharing, Pamela. That share button is in the bottom left-hand corner of your screen. If you're on a phone, just touch it. And then when it, that little new screen pops up, hit the blue button. You don't even have to type anything. Good morning, Deanda. Hey, everybody. Okay, I'm glad y'all are here. Well, I had a fun weekend. I got to go over to uh, Lake Martin in Alabama, in Daveville, Alabama. And my cousin, Benita, who has lost 50 pounds, living the Shibboleth lifestyle, had uh, signed up a whole bunch of friends because they'd seen her weight loss and everything. So I went over there and I did a meeting for people who were already members. And then I did a meeting for people who were interested in becoming a member. And we had a great time. We had a great time. So then we had a, a dinner for some of those that were able to come that had been doing Shibboleth already. And we just had a little shib shibby dinner party. So that was fun. And then we ended up at church yesterday morning and you could see the lake from the windows where they have their church and that was really nice so absolutely a great weekend I do believe we're gonna have some more lives changed at the Lake Martin RV Resort and I was super honored to be there and be with them and I met some really great people Pamela's having an intermittent fasting day Wendy from Leesburg Virginia is doing an intermittent fasting down down another Two pounds this week, second week of the Focus Challenge. Sounds like that challenge is going good for you, Wendy. That is amazing. Hey, Cheryl from Clarksville, Intermittent Fasting Day. She's been maintaining for nine, nine. So those of you that have just gotten started, look at that. Nine years, and she's at her lowest weight. Way to go, way to go. Hey, Charlene, thank you for sharing. Charlene from Dallas, good morning, Bob. Hey, Rhonda from Center, Alabama, having an intermittent fasting day. Hey, Lori. Hey, Kathy. Kathy is from Gulf Shores, Alabama, having a perfect day. Thank y'all for watching so very, very much. Let's see what Rhonda is saying. She is embracing the growl this morning. She's so close to a 100, 100 pound weight loss goal. Uh, may do some wild challenges this week to get there. Rhonda. Rhonda, I'm amazed, and I just, I'm just so proud of you. That's awesome. That is a uh, hundred pounds, less than a year. You'll get there in less than a year. That is amazing. Polly's doing a wow challenge today. Hey, Tammy from Ohio, I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. Awesome. Well, I had a great day, great weekend. What I've got going on today is I. Okay, so y'all know I had one holiday left for the month, and I was scheduling that for tomorrow so I could eat some biscuits at uh, Copeland's. I'm actually having Copeland's again today, but I was not willing to do biscuits today. I was going to do biscuits tomorrow because of the setting of the uh, of the event. I thought it'd be better to have them tomorrow, but I may actually just have a perfect day tomorrow um, because I want to try to get four pounds off. So, you know, I got four pounds off after that last little little uh, hog trough three days that I had that I really shouldn't have done, but 
somehow being the vacation was at the beginning of the of the month that all I still got four pounds that I won't back off. So I'm thinking about not having a holiday tomorrow. Also, the other reason that I'm thinking about not having a holiday tomorrow is because we're going to do our stats this month. So Thursday is October 1st, and I'm going to want to weigh on October 1st, and I'm going to see how I ended up the month of September. And I don't want to have to deal with a, a holiday the day and a half or so before I weigh to see how my month went. <laughs> so I want my stats to look good. So I may just have a perfect day tomorrow as well. But today I've got an interview with a, a business person this morning. I've got lunch at for the Marietta Business Association. And then I get to tour a new restaurant this afternoon over in Ackworth, the 1885 restaurant that is owned by some friends. So uh, as part of the Kennesaw Business Association Board of Directors, I get to go do that. So that's going to be fun. Then tonight at 6, I'm teaching class at the Kennesaw Shoe Shop. And then at 8 o'clock tonight, for those of you that were on the webinar last night, we've got part two, part two of the webinar, part two of the two-part live webinars. So make sure that you join that. It is all about simple food combining, what you can put together and starting to help you familiarize yourself with what foods go in each category. So as we are talking about that, I hope y'all have been doing one of these maybe along with us because do you know that you could go back and look at the comments from each of these videos and write in some foods that people like. And the reason that we listen to what other people like is it may be something that you've never tried that you may decide that you want to try. So what I'd like for you to do today, because I need at least 10 of them, 10 different ones, um, energy carbs, energy carbs. So I would like for you to list out for me some energy carbs that are your favorites, not just random ones that you can think of quickly, your favorites. Hey, Diane, good morning. She's having a perfect day. Yes, okay, goal is by October 1st. Man, you're so close. Oh, Rhonda. And that'll be, she lost 100 pounds in nine months. Now, think about that. Think about that. Nine months to turn your life around. In nine, in nine months, maybe may seem like a long period of time when you're going through it, but it's the blink of an eye compared to your lifetime. So way to go, Rhonda, for turning your life around in that time frame. Awesome. Hey, Pam, good morning. Hey, Faye. Diane, this sheet is, let me show you on my phone, okay? Hey, Melanie. Okay, so Pam's saying sweet potatoes. Polly's got corn in there. Great. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you on my phone. You go to the video library. Thank you for sharing, Diane. And Deanda, I can answer that. Rhonda has had holidays, but we'll let her tell you. Okay, so I'm in the video library. If you're on your phone, you see this word topics? You hit topics. Those black topics show up. Then you hit fast track, one hour lesson. That would be my Monday, Sunday night and Monday night lessons. See how they're right there? Click on one of the lessons. And this is the same way with other things that might have materials to go along with it. Okay, so they, there you go. You see the video right there? But see how I scroll up? You see where it says materials? That bottom one is the worksheet. So that's how you find that. All right, so, okay, so Rhonda said, yes, she's had holidays, but not for the first two months. So she got a jump start on it. That's what she did. Good morning, Melanie. Good morning. Okay, so it looks like I've got sweet potatoes and corn. Okay, potatoes, llama beans and corn. So it looks like one, two, three. I got three different ones so far. 
Okay, well, I'm gonna let y'all be typing that in. I'm gonna go ahead and start our devotion. Our devotion today is called Teachability. Teachability, and teachability is so, so important. I don't know about you, but Travis said in one of the first videos that I ever watched him do, and I just took this to heart, he said, you need to forget everything that you thought you knew about nutrition and learn the Shibboleth lifestyle. And I did, because I'd studied a lot of stuff about nutrition, previously and health and wellness and what that should be, what that should look like, but it never really helped me lose weight. So I just said, okay, forget it. I'm going to go his way. And I took that to heart and it worked. So teachability is important. Uh, let's read this. Proverbs 10, 17. 10, 17. Whoever heeds instruction is on the path to life. Whoever heeds instruction is on the path to life. Y'all can type in, I am teachable. I am teachable. We're going to say that about ourselves. That's really important for those of you to say that who actually uh, are a little proud and sometimes have a hard time being willing to listen and accept what other people have to say. So I am teachable. Thank you, Tammy. Thank you for typing in that verse too. That is from the New Revised Standard Version. Sometimes it's hard to take the time to heed instruction. Although it would help you manage your current season more effectively. At your job, there's necessary training about new tech equipment. There's advice about health issues and information about how to better interact with friends and family. It's tempting to pretend that we already know it all. Yet, as a teachable person, we can admit our need, accept sensible advice, and to learn practical tools that will enhance our life today. Don't you just love that? I love this. Okay, I got some teachable people right here. Hey, Kim Slaughter. I met Kim Slaughter and her precious mother this weekend. Uh, so nice to meet both of you. And Kim is doing a wow hemp bar challenge today. That is a great one. That is a great one. Thank y'all for typing that in. Thank you so much. Thank you to Rhonda. Rhonda's my little virtual assistant. I love it. She helps me so much, so much. Okay, so of course the Lord wants us to be teachable in all the ways that can bring him closer to him, closer to him. But we have to also think about the way that we eat and what we do in Shibboleth can bring us closer to him. In those moments where you are embracing the growl, then you've just got to say, Lord, I'm doing this to make your temple be the absolute best that it can be. And I'm going to embrace that growl and I'm going to do it with perseverance and I'm going to do it for you, Lord. So you're bringing yourself closer to him all while accomplishing your goals. It is a beautiful picture. It is beautiful. And I love that it says um, sometimes it's hard to take the time to heed instruction. I've heard, as the beginning teacher for Shibboleth, I have heard so many people say, oh, I just don't have time to do all of that. Well, you don't really have time to be sick, okay? You really don't. And what we teach you over a course of a week's time and then try to continue to teach you with videos and stuff, just just get it in. It's one of those things that you just must take the time to make to do. So you've got to get that in. And it does say right here that it'll help you manage your current season more effectively. You know, we go through lots of seasons in life. And uh, this has been a season for many people. This is going to help manage that season better so that you get into a season that you don't even have to think about all of this. You're just doing this as your lifestyle. And your improved lifestyle is going to help you have an improved life. And uh, just to reiterate, it's tempting to think we know it all, um, but as a teachable person, you admit the need that you don't know it all. You accept sensible advice, which is what Travis has put all together in this lifestyle because it all works together. All of the five components of the Shibboleth Shield work together. And then we learn practical tools that will enhance our life. Don't you just love these practical tools? My friend Amanda said one time that everybody's heard... Uh, everything in moderation, but Shibboleth gave her the tools to measure moderation. That's awesome. We have our tools to better, better measure moderation. So I hope that y'all take advantage of those and use them. Okay, Polly says green peas. 
Cheryl's adding in approved chips, oatmeal, and pasta. Very good. Okay, good. We've got some We've got some energy carbs listed up there. I'll list some of my favorites on there, and we will finish that in. Those folks watching on replay can add some in, and we will end up with our 10, hopefully by then. Energy carbs, and then we'll post this, so if y'all want to print it, you can. You'll have the Shibby Show uh, new member fast track worksheet, because it's always good to continue going through the foods that we need to eat, and we're going to put those together in a way that is enjoyable. Grits. Michelle's got grits on there. Awesome. These are great. These are great. Okay. Well, it's Monday. I hope that y'all are getting ready for a blessed week, a perfect day. Unless this is a special day for some reason in your life, it's Monday. And there's really just no reason not to have a perfect day. So go ahead and journal your day. Journal your day early. It helps you declare your day. Your mindset is then set. I'm having a perfect day. If for some reason you desire to change that, you would need to go and change that in your journal, and that can help stop you from changing that. It could say, nope, that is not what I wanted to do today. I'm so glad I journaled that this morning. It made me think of it, and I am going to do something different or embrace the growl or do whatever we've got to do to get to that next meal to still remain with our perfect day, our perfect day. Uh, you sure, Deanda? Yes. And uh, Polly added tomatoes and onions. So, okay, we are going to make sure you journal. Once I get this video in, make sure you marked it watch. If you are watching on replay, please type in hashtag Shibboleth for his glory because that's why we are doing this for his glory. And Rhonda says to have a blessed day. Oh, you're welcome. I love teaching. I love teaching. Thank you. All right, we're going to close out in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for today. Thank you, Father, for uh, giving all of these people a teachable spirit, a teachable heart. And if somebody were to listen to this video today and they don't have a teachable heart, I ask you, Father, that you soften that heart, humble their heart, take away any pride so that they can have that teachable heart, which will enable them to achieve their results and their goals. And Father, I ask that you forgive me of my sins, of my personal sins. And right now, while people are listening to me, maybe they could also ask that you forgive them of their sins. But Lord, as a country, I ask that you forgive us of our sins as a country, Lord. Bring us back to you. And Father, I pray that I, I know that you can find some good people in this country and you will save this country because of even just one one person that is after your heart. And I know that there's so many more, Lord. Just save us, Lord. And Father, we just ask that your will be done in our lives. I pray for continued success for all of the people that are uh, listening to this broadcast and who participate in this lifestyle, this blessed lifestyle of Shibboleth. Just continue to give them uh, that desire to keep going and give them success in what they are doing and achieving. And I ask that you share this program and grow this grassroots program so that we can help so many other people. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Amen. Okay, I had my eyes closed, but I do pray for Rhonda's mom who's having a colonoscopy today. We will lift her up, Rhonda. Dear Heavenly Father, be with Rhonda's mother as she has this procedure done. All right, well, y'all have a blessed day. And if I see you in Kennesaw tonight, that is great. If I see you on, well, I won't see you, but we'll chat on the eight o'clock webinar, that's great. And by the way, wanna tell you of a change. This Wednesday is our last Wednesday class at the Kennesaw Shibby Shop. For October and going forward, it is moving to Tuesday because the teachers that teach on Wednesdays do a lot of Bible studies on Wednesdays, and there's a lot of other larger churches in the area that have Bible studies on Wednesdays, and my teachers were having a hard time getting days in, so they asked me to move it to Tuesday. So going forward, the weekday class at the Kennesaw Shibby Shop is going to be on Tuesday, not on Wednesday. I also want to let y'all know that the Dalton store is open it is open. They're just not having classes there right now, but it is open for shopping. Open for shopping. All right. Bye, y'all.